Welcome to On Command Connection. In this video, we'll learn how to manage the administrative features of your OCC account. Admin self-service access includes many powerful tools that can help you manage your fleet, including add, update, or replace vehicles, align vehicles to specific locations in your fleet, create and manage users, provide OTA programming access to users, create and maintain vehicle watch lists, and much more. To start, head to the Admin tab on the OCC dashboard and click on Self-Service. In the upper left-hand side of the new page, enter the account you wish to view. In this example, we're using a Navistar demo fleet. Now select the specific location you wish to edit. We can now see all the users that are associated with that location, as well as the vehicles in all locations associated with that fleet. You can also see the telematics device used by each vehicle in the list. Plus, you can view all of the dealerships that have been granted access to view your OCC account. You can even see a list of the linked telematics provider accounts that send data into your OCC account. Selecting a specific location lets you manage users and vehicles for that location. The User tab includes usernames, IDs, email addresses, as well as their last login date and time. Role type identifies the user as a customer or a dealer. The account admin column identifies who can make changes within the respective locations they are aligned with. And the programmer column identifies who has been authorized to make over-the-air programming changes to the vehicles. Please note that every account requires a company-level administrator, and this is the only role that is able to assign other users as OTA programmers. If you would like to export this data for easy reference or sharing, Click this icon to export to an Excel file. To add a new user to the account, simply go to the bottom of the page and click the green Add button. This is where you can choose to add an existing Navistar CYY type user ID. Or request a new user and fill in the required information. You can also choose whether the new user should be granted admin access to the location where it's been assigned. Once submitted, the new user will receive an email with a link to validate the request and create a permanent password for OCC and other international or IC bus service systems they might use. If you would like to add a new location within the account, click on the plus icon here and type in the location name and address, then click Create Location. And now you can add users and vehicles to that location. If a user of a regional location oversees one or several smaller locations, OCC allows you to create a hierarchy so that the user of a regional location can see the details of their sublocations. You do this by clicking on the Move button. Now select both the regional location and the sublocations to be assigned and click on the Confirm Move. You can now see how the sublocations are organized under the regional location. Sublocation users can only see data associated with their location, while users of the regional location can see details of the regional location and all sublocations. Watchlist is another filtering tool that allows you to monitor certain vehicles regardless of their location. For example, if your fleet has multiple vehicles in various locations that you would like to aggregate, monitor, and report from, you can add them here. You can even access your watch lists from the dashboard by clicking on the Account drop-down, then selecting Watch Lists. The Vehicles tab allows you to make changes, updates, or add individual vehicles. To add a single vehicle, click the green Add button. Type in the full VIN unit number you assigned to that VIN, then click Save. To import multiple vehicles, simply click the Import tab and then download the Excel template. Copy and paste your list of VINs and unit numbers into this document. Again, using the full VIN, save the document. Then return to the OCC import interface and upload the file. You can decide whether to replace existing vehicles with this toggle. This is a great way to replace an outdated fleet in your OCC account with only active vehicles. You can also make edits directly to the VINs. The checkboxes allow you to select one or multiple vehicles. As you can see, the scan history is clearly visible for each vehicle, but if you would like to filter to only those vehicles that have been scanned in the last seven days, or conversely, those that have not been scanned in the last seven days, 
this is where you can make that selection. This has been a brief overview of some of the powerful features available to admins. For more information about admin functionality, please contact your OCC representative. Thank you for choosing On Command Connection.